That's right, folks. It is Christmas Day, and we already have drama in the Roblox community. We can't even go a day without drama, so happy holidays. So it is the holiday season, and many games are releasing their Christmas updates, one of them being Pet Simulator X. Pet Simulator X initially released a part 1 to their Christmas update. This part 1 was well received. However, part 2, not so much. So let's talk about it. So their Christmas update, they released it today with the Pet Simulator X Christmas Eve update is here. Complete the all quest events for huge rewards. Collect the all new hoverboards, including the Slay Hoverboard. And Gingerbread is also doubled. And this seems like great at first. Until you realize that one of the new things that they added to the game actually breaks Roblox's terms of service. Basically what was added in this update was the insane Christmas egg, and so the insane Christmas egg has different percentages. However, if you take a look at the very last one, which is Santa Paws, you can see that that has a mystery percentage. And let's actually take a further look into that. This is actually outlined in the Roblox Terms of Service rule number 8, which says, Paying for random virtual items. If you provide games and experiences that allow users to pay with Robux or items for random virtual items, you must let users know the odds of receiving each type of random item that a user might receive prior to paying. So this means basically the percentage has to be known. Therefore, this is against the Roblox Terms of Service. And this is not the first time that Preston has done this. Preston has also broken Roblox Terms of Service with his NFT project, which we discussed in our other video. Roblox RTC also made a post about this, which says, It's Christmas Eve and indeed there's drama. Players are upset at the latest Christmas update part 2 from Big Games. For context, the update added a Robux egg, which made many people very upset. Bah humbug for some thoughts. Honestly, we all know the reason why Preston did this. It's money. Because Preston will never learn, his game is pay to win, it's still insanely popular, also making mad amounts of cash. But the reason why Preston did this is because in times like these, it's Christmas time, kids are getting money for Christmas and Robux for Christmas, so he figured this would be an imperfect opportunity to cash out on that. So Crewcraft says, kids get money on Christmas, introduce update that requires real money, question mark, question mark, profit, the power of mom's credit card. I understand that these games need to make money around Christmas to hire people and have their studios up and running, but at the same time, 1,200 Robux for an egg that you don't even know the RNG of is way too expensive and against the Roblox terms of service. This is just me though, that I kind of feel like this preys off kids' addictions, and honestly, I don't really feel that it's right to sell these products for this high during winter time. This violates terms of service and is also encouraging gambling as well because of the question mark, question mark chance. Encouraging gambling as children is a really dangerous habit and can lead to a lot of addictions. And if you look at the thing 65 plus 30 is 95 for the rng right 95 plus 5 equals 100 that means the question mark question mark question mark is under one percent just to get this item which is massively massively bait and switch person has just been doing so many wrong things that i don't agree with as the owner of builders and games and i've stopped supporting his games a long time ago and stopped playing them in videos as well i don't agree with what preston is doing but i mean happy holidays i guess so basically, people are mad at Preston for introducing a Robux egg, which is actually against the Roblox Terms of Service, and the percentage doesn't add up, and it encourages gambling in kids. Thank you so much for watching my video, and I really appreciate you subscribe. Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, and Happy New Year if I don't see y'all, so I'll see you next time.